So what I'm doing here is I'm going to replace these terminals on this uh, 95 Nissan Centric. I ran for amplifier power and now we need one of these types of terminals that have the uh, multi-holes so you can run the amplifier power and run your alternator power and your accessories and this terminal just ain't doing it anymore. Somebody did even put the right one on it. They put a damn black one on the positive, but whatever. All you pretty much have to do is a pre-lease in these is screw this off. And then from there, you gotta get the uh, terminal separated. For this one, you wanna pry off this little clip on the back and uh, pull the plastic piece off. If you were just changing the terminal to a normal terminal, you could hook it up back through these and rebolt it on the way it was before with this, but I'm putting this terminal on. So these ends have gotta go. So you gotta pry this clip off, pull the plastic off, then you have a clip like this. And you could just cut it, but it'll make the wire shorter, and I really don't want to do that. It's already short enough on this car. So I'm going to pry these in pieces where they're clamped off. And uh, then uh, slide them in the wire, tighten them down. I'll show you that when I get to it. Alright, now i got the factory uh, connectors off the ends of these wires. If you cut the uh, factory connectors off, you may have to strip it back. I found it best you're stripping this thickness of wire, the casing on this is real thick, to use a razor blade, just cut around it in a circle and cut it off. It's a lot easier than wire strippers, in my opinion. And I left this terminal end on because it's a negative and it's going to be attached to the new terminal that's sitting over here, the same way it was originally. And this is the terminal that's going to run power and accessories and the amplifier wire right here and a good uh, thing to keep in mind is when you take this to take this battery out and clean off the top of it use some baking soda and some distilled water and clean it real good because it's built up acid on it over the years and it's just not good for the battery or the terminals and when you install the positive terminal make sure you have your amplifier wire either attached to your amplifier which I'm not a big fan of doing because if something did happen and the amplifier was shorting it would fry it or have it in the trunk wrapped in electrical tape so it doesn't hit something metal in your trunk and pop the fuse or worse yet catch a car on fire okay the battery's out I'm gonna clean it with some baking soda and water the uh, best thing I found for this is to mix up your baking soda and your water and use an old toothbrush and just scrub it on if you have to, you can pour some on it. Give it a scrub. And just get all the old acid off. And it doesn't hurt if you uh, take the baking soda and water and uh, put it in the battery tray because a lot of acid leaks out in the battery tray and leak through your battery tray and if you have a metal battery tray battery will end up in the ground and it's just not pleasant but after you get it all scrubbed off rinse it off with clean water and then you're good to put it back in okay i got both uh terminals on now and the thing with tightening these is you want to tighten them like this so they don't move but the thing is not to over tighten them see how this one wiggles a little bit you can move it now you want to get it to where it's not wiggling anymore, but not to where this side's touching this side. This stretches out the battery terminals, and I swear every car I've ever bought has had the battery terminals stretched out that are top post because somebody's ever tightened it. You just want to get it to where it doesn't wiggle anymore. I'm sure there's a torque specs for this, but that's the way I do it, and then you won't have to end up changing your ends all the time. And another good tip on this is if this would have been painted when you buy them in a set there's black and red ones 
and if you tightened it to where the paint's cracking off of it, you probably over tightened it. Now see, the battery doesn't move anymore. The terminal doesn't move anymore, I mean. And that's tight enough. Now, let's see if the uh, car starts already tighten this one down. It used a um, Allen key to tighten this one down. It goes in through the, the side. And same with tightening all the wires. They had an Allen key to tighten from the bottom. Now let's see if this works. Yep, it works. I need to replace the uh, power steering belt. It's squeaking a little bit, but hell, I've only had the car for like two weeks. It's my uh, get good MPG mileage car because I don't have a car that gets good mileage in this one right now. And, and it's the uh, first Japanese car I've ever owned, which is strange, but I, I don't mind Japanese cars, I guess. It gets 40 miles to the gallon, and that's all that matters, and that's what I bought it for. Thanks. And uh, that's how to put a battery terminal in. Bye.